Hey guys, Steph and Kathy back. So we have another tutorial. We are going to go from this to this and some very easy steps. Now those we had gotten from Dollar Tree last year. And obviously this year we are all struggling to find them at that price. But anyway, these guys are amazing. You can upgrade these. I spray painted him black. And what we're going to do to get the effect of the membrane and the see-through, we're going to actually use just plastic wrap. And what I do is, it doesn't matter how much you use or how little you use, you want to get the effect that you want. We just actually wrap around this guy. You kind of fold it over. And again, it, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want, it all looks great in the end. And it is a really cool effect. I find them better painted black because you get more of a texture to it. And actually bats are black, so they're not clear like bones like you see. So very cool to do this. So once you get on what you want on, you can go ahead and heat gun this to melt the plastic. And then what I usually do is I would do it in layers because the first layer, if you get too many layers, you're not going to get the effect with bottom layer. So I, uh, just a little bit, just to melt it down. And I like to get it to be a little kind of like, I don't know, awkward and creepy and Just so Halloween right now. So, and these guys, everyone's going to turn out different. And I'll do one side. I'll do the other. And normally what I will do is I will add a second layer. And as you can see, it doesn't take much time to do this. So, first layer is done. And, of course, it's not completely covered but you kind of get the effect of it. So what I will do, even while it's still warm, the plastic wrap will adhere better and it will stick with you. And again, it nothing has to be perfect with this. You just wrap it around, you get what you want. Super easy. Now I buy my plastic wrap at Sam's Club because I can get like 3,000 square feet for like nothing. That's not really nothing, but it's it's probably like 18 bucks for 3,000 square feet, which is a deal when you're doing this kind of stuff because you don't need a lot. And when you melt this down, like I said, whatever you're doing with it, it is just super easy, super quick, and you can't go wrong. Every little piece of this is amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat gun this other side. And again, like I said, whatever you want, it'll all kind of tense down on it. And I think it's kind of like the unexpected when you you don't know what you're going to get. Which I think is the best. Because it almost looks like he's like flown through spider webs or whatever. So there he is. I'm not going to spray paint him inside. But this is um, after he's spray painted. You can actually see through the wings like it's a membrane. It's a tissue, which is really cool. So I made a few of these and I kind of came up with this. I don't know. It came out of nowhere. I had this gold mirror that I got from the thrift store and he fit perfect in there. So what I did is just spray painted the whole thing. It's a mirror. There's a reflection. You can kind of feel like he's coming out at you through there. Used a little bit of glue on each side. And once that glue dried, I just used a little spray paint and 
he looks amazing. So there is so much you can do with this and it's a simple project. This probably costs like $3 to make and it's amazing. So guys, guess what? We have more videos coming up. We're not doing it tonight, but we have ghost babies coming up, which is a really interesting thing we came across and it's really cool. Please don't judge us, but it's an amazing thing. So have a good night. Happy Halloween.